name's Andrew Reid. I'm uh, the admissions tutor at the Institute of Archaeology. It's a question that parents often ask. My parents ask me. Uh, students today, their parents ask them, is what kind of job is there at the end of it? Well, there's lots of different jobs, and really it's whether it's the degree for you. And we believe that it is because we have a world-class ins institution. Fantastic resource which we have here are our dedicated laboratories. Clearly we're in the bone lab at the moment. We have our own dedicated library created over the entire 75 years of the Institute and you will find just about all the books that you need for your study here. And we are based in one of the world's great cities. Um, so what do we do? We have a balance of coursework and fieldwork, and we really focus on that fieldwork. So we require you to do 70 days of fieldwork during your undergraduate degree. We believe that that gives you the skills and the background that is necessary for you to go on to be archaeologists. But uh, it also gives you a chance to express your abilities, to engage your practical uh, skills and enhance those skills and abilities if you want to make use of them in other kinds of uh, career options once you finish your degree. So we want a diversity of people. We want people who are really interested in the past. We tend to find that people who have an active engagement with the outdoors engage well with archaeology. But it's by no means a, a prerequisite. There are plenty of people who study in these kinds of labs, etc. So it's people who engage with things, but it's people also who can think outside the box, people who can think a little bit differently. Because archaeology is nothing if it's not setting people challenges. So what archaeology does is it helps you to overcome practical difficulties that you may, may have. With the first year, what we do is we make sure that you have a strong grounding in archaeology. Uh, by that I mean you have uh, a, an awareness of all the key features of archaeology, the key, key kinds of methodology, the theories, etc., how archaeology has developed over time, why it's important in the modern era, why it's going to be important in the future. And it is important all the time. Bear in mind that uh, today's rubbish is tomorrow's archaeology. So we're looking at anything from uh, Thames foreshore material, as we have here, all the way to the very earliest stone tools in Eastern Africa. We have projects across the globe. Then in your second and third year, you take optional courses where you begin to specialize on things that you particularly are interested in. The critical thing that we have as part of our degree, which is quite a unique element, is that we have this insistence on 70 days of field work and we have research projects that are going on all over the world. Because archaeology begins yesterday, um, we, c we use the whole gamut of different uh, uh, academic studies in order to look at the past. So we're looking at biology, we're looking at chemistry, we're looking at physics, we're looking at geography, we're looking at um, uh, art history, we're looking at a whole range of diff raft of different factors. If you're that kind of person, then archaeology is the right degree for you.